so this is the basic uh, ddr3 model in this uh, you have to find about three important things one is the current unit the current and the other is m unit which is potential and the 9 volts battery there are three 9 volt batteries in this which will be powering the current unit and this display and the sp so whenever uh, there is no display on you need to open this and check the three batteries and if this is not on then you need to check open this and check the batteries and if the sp is not working then you need to open and check this 9 volts battery when coming to the operation the instrument the we have uh, the current supply and a voltage regulator and uh, in this current unit we will get the current reading here and in the potential unit we get the potential values if we keep in v and resistance values if we keep in r as this is a dc you need to send the current manually in direct and reverse mode in the next instruments the current will be sent in direct and reverse automatically due to the microprocessor but this model this direct and reverse is to send the direct current once and the reverse current again so we will be connecting a power source here the 24 volt battery and while connecting the battery you need to make sure this slit is going exactly into this part so just put it on the instrument here and then press it down and you should rotate and then press down again while removing also you need to rotate the wheel first and then pull and then rotate and then pull like that don't hold on the top and rotate it will break the circuit inside in general the current electrodes are connected to the electrodes or stainless steel or any other metal and the potentials are connected to porous spots this porous spot contain copper sulfate liquid and a copper rod fixed in the ground there are two porous spots here so these porous spots are connected to the P1 and P2 and the current electrodes are connected to C1 and C2 so we have connected the battery to the instrument the potentials and the current now we need to turn on the current display and the potential display and SP on when the SP is turned on the ground cell potential is shown here so before taking a reading you need to make it zero the course is to reduce the higher values like this and the fine is to reduce the single digit values like this so you should make all the values zero before taking a reading so now this is zero and this is perfect to take the reading so first you have to press for current here see when i press current i gave 100 milliamps of current and i got only 26 here 28 so i want to get 100 milliamps so i am increasing the voltage from 25 to 50 and pressing again it is still showing 68 so i am pressing to 100 so it is 99 is approximately 100 milliamps and uh, see the resistance value it is 14.48 here you should write down the reading and then you need to go to the next point so when if you are giving the proper current and the current is not going then you need to increase the voltage most of the time this depends on the area of your investigation usually we keep it in 100 and whatever the value we get here we multiply with the red one on the one if i keep it in 50 and press it is 7.41 so i need to multiply that value with this 2 again if i keep it in 10 it is 1.450 so i need to multiply the 1.50 with 10 then i will get the same value so usually we keep in 100 and we multiply the value with uh, 1 
sometimes you need more current there you need to go to 200 and then press if you see this one here then that means the current is too high so you need to reduce the current and work after the completion of the survey you need to make sure you are turning off the display 1 display 2 and the SP also or the 9 volts battery inside will be discharged completely and you need to replace them every time when you are pressing for current if you are getting current then it is fine if the display is on and you are not getting the current then you need to check the fuse once if there is no fuse then even when the display is on if you press current there is no change in current or potential so make sure you are uh, checking the fuse also in the minute if you want to see the values after point decimal click this into 0 0.1 then you can see a fine values you can neglect all these values also to 0 for uh, better readings in general we keep it in R mode and then press for the reading it is 5.98 now now I will show you how to do it in V by I mode also just turn it into V by I mode and then change this to V here you will see current and potential differently it is 1 to 5 8 divided by 2 11 when you calculate it it will be the same as resistance value so this is another way of doing the SQT survey using V by I mode most of the time you will keep it in R and this in 100 or any other value other than V by I and do the survey